Hi, it's Pavel with C Sharp Homework. Uh, this is chapter 13, exercise 8 from uh, C Sharp How to Program book. We are going to be demonstrating the, the exception handling. We will write a program that demonstrates that a method with its own try block does not have to catch every possible exception that occurs within the try block. And some of the exceptions can slip through and be handled in other scopes. So, uh, to demonstrate this uh, behavior, uh, I created a class called uh, test class. And um, I'm going to create a few variables. What I'm going to try to do is to do a little division, and I will demonstrate it by, uh, you know, throwing exception division by zero, and also. Uh, the formatting uh, uh, exception, and uh, I will come up with some other exception that will be handled elsewhere, not in the same try block. So I will do private x, and um, I want the y, uh, the, the y, in other words, which will be the zero, will be supplied by the by the user. That way, we can we'll be able to test uh, the behavior in a bigger scope, so to speak. But uh, another one would be private integer total. Okay, so now let's do the uh, constructor test class, and uh, all it takes is the x. And uh, I won't make any properties or anything. I will simply assign a private variable to the x. So the user supplies x. Now we can do a method, public uh, void, I don't know, first method. <laughs> Not very original, but uh, like I said, this is just a demonstration. And uh, in this method, we will do the try block. And uh, we will try to divide, you know, x divided by some number that the user will supply. So first, we will simply say we will wait for the user to send a number. So we will do, actually, I'm sorry, over here I still need the y, private integer y. And the y equals convert up to integer and console dot read line. Uh, I'm not going to use any prompt or anything like that. It will simply wait for us to input the y. Once that is done, I will. I will attempt to do a division. Now total will equal to x divided by y. And there will be a catch block, of course, which I will fill in later. And there will be a second method, which will have a different uh, catch. Uh, and this one. This one will actually have a return value of integer, and I will call it second method. And in this method, uh, we will do another try block, try and catch, just like that. Okay, now we go back to our constructor, and after we assign the value of x, we will call our first method straight from the constructor. And um, actually, I'm sorry, to demonstrate this behavior, uh, I'll copy it and I cut this line, and I'll go to try to the second method. In other words, we call the first method. Our first method we'll call our second one, which will ask for y. 
And over here we will supply y, and then go back over here, of course, and perform the calculation. Now the first catch over here that we can get, of course, is the, uh, the exception the division by zero. Division by zero exception. So in other words, if we, if we enter a zero here, it will attempt to you know, uh, perform a division by zero, and it should go to the sketch block over here. And it will it will simply write the write line on the console console I write line, and we will I'll add a little message to kind of distinguish where these messages are coming from. So this is first method one. And we can add the extra message, the official, so to speak, mm -hmm. uh, system message of the of the error. We will do another catch, and in this case, we can do formatting. Let's say I try to pass a string as an integer. It will it will try here, and uh, you know it can't because string. So you know we cannot do ma mathematical operations with that, so it should go to this catch block. So uh, it's going to be a formatting format exception, and once again we'll simply output the, the message by line, and it's still our first method, but a second message about uh, uh, two, and the official system message. For the error. Okay, so we are catching these two uh, uh, exceptions in this try block. But what if I enter y that is way too big for an integer? So we, we can catch over here, or try to catch the, uh, the under the assumptions that, uh, you know, the number is just way too large to store as an integer. So we are catching the overflow exception, overflow exception, and I will output by line. Uh, this is our second method, and the x dot message. Construct the string. I need a plus here. Now, y has to be returned back to this try block. So, and this, we have the integer value to be returned. So, if everything's okay, we will return y. All right. And over here, we will return y as well. The reason why I'm returning a y here. Or let's say over here what I can do I can do y equals zero and return y in other words return zero. Now remember we go the first thing we do we go to the second method. We'll do our try block. Now if this fails, it goes to catch, it returns zero, it goes back over here and it tries to still do the division by zero. So we should get this exception as well. In other words, if I enter uh, a number that is too large to be held in an integer, it will display this uh, exception message. Then it tries to do the division, so it displays this message as well. It will, in other words, that will demonstrate that uh, one uh, catch was caught in this try block and the other one in this one, that's what we are supposed to be doing. We're supposed to be demonstrating that a method with its own try block does not have to catch every possible exception. Uh, some exceptions can slip through and be handled in other scopes. Okay, so let's go to our main method and uh, create an object. It is new, just class, and we'll pass the x and I don't know, it just can be 100. Okay, and uh, I will also do console.read line just to pause the screen. So now we have uh, created the object, we pass 100. 
for our x, assign it to our private uh, variable, and then we'll go through the first method and second method. So let's see what we get. So it's waiting for us over here. Remember, we go to the second method and it asks for y. Well, it doesn't ask, it just uh, assume. Uh, I'm going to, over here, I'm going to display uh, console uh, the right line. Enter and integer. So we know that it's actually asking us to enter an integer. Let's try it again. So it's asking us to enter the integer. And I'll enter 10. And no exception was thrown. I mean, no result was uh, shown either. So, uh, but, the, you know, I could try here. Console dot uh, right line. Total is... Enter the total. So if I enter a correct value, for example, 10, the total is 10. Because remember, we passed 100. 100 divided by 10 is 10. Simple as that. All right, so uh, let's try some uh, wrong numbers. So let's say that I will enter zero and here we go first method so this is the message over here attempted to divide by zero so i entered it comes over here it asks for the it asks for uh, the integer i entered zero it converted it fine zero is a number so we didn't get any catch it returned zero it comes back here and tries to do the division by zero and it can't so it never gets to this line because it throws an exception. So it just goes right here and displays the message that it tried to do the division by zero. So now let's try a number that is too high for an integer. And now, see what's happening. It asks for a number, we enter a number that is too high. So over here, it throws an exception cannot store that a high value in y because y is an integer. So it comes over here, it displays the message saying second method value was either too large or too small, and then assigns zero to y. So it goes back over here and after second method and it tries to perform the division by zero because again we assigned zero to y. So it skips this one this line because it goes so as an exception it goes to catch and here we go it displays this uh, error as well so now we caught two errors with two different try blocks and finally let's try one more uh, let's try to enter a string and it should simply say over it when we try to run this it should say uh, division by zero and then first method, and it should show that the formatting was wrong. Let's see if that's gonna work. Input string was in incorrect format. So uh, it comes over here. Oh, I'm sorry. Uh, it throws an exception, but not this one. It's a formatting exception. So it skips this, it goes back over here. Then that's where it's. Uh, from the uh, formatting exception, this one is skipped because this is never even executed, and it goes to the uh, format exception uh, catch. So it never assigns zero. That's what I uh, wrongly assumed at first that it will come over here, but it doesn't. Again, we assign a string to integer, so that's a that's an exception, but it checks. In this try block only checks for the overflow exception and we have a formatting exception so it doesn't execute this one at all it simply returns back to the, the after the second method after the call for it 
and over here it throws an exception because it tries to do a, a, you know, a division x which is 100 divided by a string so it's uh, if this is this y will throw an exception again it skips this one it never even tries to execute uh, division by zero because there is no such exception thrown again y is not zero y is simply incorrect format so it goes to format exception and throws that and we get the first method two which is this one this message first method two exception input string was not in correct format all right so uh, i hope you can see how uh, these exceptions are being thrown and uh, from which try block and how you can have multiple exception being thrown if you use uh, multiple try blocks uh, in two different methods so uh, i hope it helped you and i will see you next time take care